What's up, Bernie? What's cracking with you? I'm gonna wait until a couple more people get in before I start. What's up, Dan? On vacation, huh? Ooh. Nice. Nice. Very nice. How's the weather over there? Wow, 80 degrees, huh? Man, I wish we had that weather over here. <laughs> because this sucks. It's about 30, about 39 degrees. Yeah, it's about 39 degrees and raining. So. There's Leilani. Here, Leilani wants to show her, her, her guinea pigs. <laughs> <laughs> this is just one this is um this is tina this is tina go show ike go get ike <laughs> we named them ike and tina because <laughs> they're constantly fighting so i gave them the name ike and tina uh well, I guess there's enough people in here. Uh, what's up to everybody? Uh, thank you for, for joining in. Uh, wow, it's going to be what? 60 degrees tomorrow over there. Do they sing? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> if they did, I would be making mad cheese right now. Uh, yeah, it, it, it sucks over here. The rain, and it's been raining today, and it's cold and it's clammy. Hot. Oh, here's Ike. Here's the big one. He's the meaner. <laughs> He's the mean one. <laughs> this is Ike. He is he is a mean ass. He bit me the other day, this little jag. <laughs> here, <Stop him. laughs> take him. Get him out of here. <laughs> okay, enough of the animal kingdom. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it's been pretty crappy here, um, weather-wise, uh, for me to paint, uh, it's gonna suck, for me to paint, it's gonna suck, um, the weather here is just, it's gone downhill, I'll keep my cats, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really didn't want these things, but she kept on and kept on and kept on about these guinea pigs. And I said, okay, fine. Yeah, you can have them. So I had to go out and buy them. Uh, hey, what's up, William? Uh, I had to go buy... Um, I had to go buy a, a cage for these things. Hey, what's up, Joe? Uh... Everything is all good, man. So I had to go buy a cage for these things. And I spent $100. She has a, a hedgehog. Oh, no shit. Hedgehog. The hedgehogs are so cute. <laughs> yeah, but you ain't getting one. You're lucky you when got I them. When I get older, I'm going to get one. Okay. Um, so I had to go buy her a cage and, you know, food, food and all kind of other crap. So, but enough of that. Uh, we are going to be doing the Little Joe uh, Jungle Gym unboxing. Uh, this is the kit that I'm going to be trading uh, with Little Joe. Let's 
So we'll work. Thank you. Um, uh, you know what? I'll send you my email. Uh, my email is uh, fastjimmy71 at uh, gmail.com. So you can send me the pictures there and I'll check them out. So the, the email again is fastjimmy71 at gmail.com. So uh, I hope that works out for you. Uh, this is the kit that I'm going to be trading with Joe for the 65 Impala that he's going to send me. Um, I've had this kit for a long time. And uh, it's just been sitting there. Uh, I know that I'm not going to build it because me and funny cars don't get along. Hmm. Uh, I had bad experiences with... with uh, what is this? I sprayed the tin. Oh, hell no. It ate up the decals. Holy shit. Wow. What ate up the decals? I'm sorry to hear that, dude. <laughs> That's not cool. Um, well, like I was saying, this kit is a funny car. Uh, I've had a couple of experiences with funny cars where I try to build them and they just go to shit. Um, the frames never line up. Nothing lines up. I don't. I don't know if it's me or if it's the kits that I've been buying that are funny cars and they come out all jacked up. But uh, I said, you know what? I looked at it and I said, you know what? I wonder if he's gonna like this. And I've been telling him that it was the Vega, and it's not the Vega. It's the Mazda, Monza, the the Jungle Gym Monza, uh, funny car. And this is the cool kid because this comes with the two figures in here, which is pretty cool. Now, if they're painted, I don't know. What's up, man? Uh, I also love that boat. Oh, yeah, the Volkswagen I was talking about yesterday. Let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, I got it here. I was, uh, when I was on Little Joe's uh, uh, live stream yesterday, we were talking about Volkswagens, and he had mentioned a Volkswagen. I told him I have one. This is the Volkswagen I got. This is a Ravel uh, Volkswagen Street Machine. Uh... I opened it up yesterday after I got off the live stream and he gave me a call and he was talking to me about this. I told him, hey, I don't care. I'll open it. It's no big deal to me. So I opened it, but unfortunately, it's not the Volkswagen he's looking for. But this is a pretty cool, pretty cool Volkswagen. Um, so enough of that. So let me put this away. I got so much crap down here. Not even funny. Um, ah, crap. Sorry about that. Uh, so, little Joe, you ready for me to crack this open? Tell me yes. Tell me yes. Tell me yes. What? <laughs> you should crack. <laughs> crack it. All right, dude. Well, I'm cracking it open. Uh, here it goes. I'm making the first cut. Making the first cut. Crack it like it's hot. Alright. Cracking it. Cracking it. Cracking it. Cracking it. I gotta get me a new knife. This knife is... This blade is kind of dull. Kind of dull. Um, I don't want to cut the plastic completely off. So that's why I'm trying to cut the bottom off. Well, there goes the bottom, and put this back, 
And here we go. Alrighty then. Well, this is figure number one. They come in a bubble wrap. <laughs> well, here we go. Hey, uh, wait a minute. Didn't recognize that one till. Ah, okay. Hey, what's up, Lisa? Sorry about that. I had to look at your user there. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That's Lisa. <laughs> so here is the first figure. Comes in a bubble wrap bag. And it's wrapped in this foamy stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Very cool. And this is, uh... This is pretty cool. Pretty detailed. And this is like a ceramic. Hey, what's up, man? This is like ceramic or something. I don't know. But you got to be very careful with this because that looks, those arms look like very, they, they can be very fragile and they'll break. So I'm putting this one back in the foam and putting it back in the bag. I don't want to break it. <laughs> it should look good in the chicken grease garage, right? Now, that's Jungle Pam. Now, this is Jungle Jim. Uh, opening, taking them out of the bag. Is Jungle Jim. It's too light. Hey, I don't know. It came like that in the box. <laughs> And here's Jungle Jim. Woo, check that out. And that's cool because they actually made him dirty too. Like his shirt has been dirty. And his, like, you know, from all the grime and shit from him racing. That's pretty cool. Right, check that out. Pretty cool. So there you go, little Joe. You got your Jungle Jim and your Jungle, Jungle Pam. That answers your question. Yes, they are detailed and they're painted. Nice beer gut, yeah. <laughs> the beer gut. But I know Joe wants to... He's been wanting to see that, but I know he really wants to see the real deal. And I get to do the... The smelling of the styrene. So, everything comes in a bag. All the white stuff. Uh, the glass, here's the glass. <laughs> you won't mess it up, dude. Um, oh, it actually has here. Um, Operation Ending Freedom Flag. Oh, this shit is old. I think you can't get this anymore. It says here, if you send this out, uh, you get a free flag, a free American flag, uh, 13, uh, 36 by, a 36 by 60 cloth American flag for free. But I don't know if this still, if, th if this is still good. I don't know. The, I don't know. You would have to figure that out. But if you fill this out. They'll send you a free American flag because this kit was made in the United States, which you know rebels here in the United States. Um, here are the slicks. The Goodyear slicks. Goodyear slicks. Uh, and the tires, the front tires. Pretty cool. Uh, and then it comes with one... Yeah, it comes with one tree of chrome, and uh, the chrome looks pretty good. This uh, the chrome looks pretty pretty clean, man. It doesn't look pitted or anything. Very nice, very nice, very nice chrome. 
very nice chrome As you can see there's the chrome very nice um, and then here goes the decals I don't know how good these decals are because I don't like I said I don't know how old this kid is um Wow, well, these decals are nice, bro. Did you know? Check the decals out. Very nice. Very nice. We got a glare there from the light. But, yeah, they're very nice. This sheet is not even yellowed or anything. This is very, very crisp. Very nice. Oh, and you said, oh, hell no. You even got the decals, bro. You even got the decals for the the rim, the tires, the Goodyear tires. You got for the front and the back. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, and this is the decal that goes on Jungle J Jungle Jungle Pam's shirt. This decal here, and I think this is the other decal that goes on Jungle Jim's shirt. Yes, they are. They are a little sticky. That's it. What's up, Jeff? What's up, Gary? Uh, so here are your decals. So I'm going to be very careful with these. And then here is... What's up, brother? Uh, and here is your instruction book um, very straight to the point you know uh, very straight to the point then we're going to come out with name brand titles not the bell so this is uh this is the instruction book which you already know and I'm not gonna go through the whole thing but here are your decals, and I'm putting them inside the instruction manual. Putting that back in the box. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to put this back in the box because I don't know if you want to send, try to see if you can still get an American flag. Uh, and then here's your, like I said, here's your chrome. Here are your tires. Now. Ooh. Ooh. Your glass. It didn't it didn't scratch up or anything. See, because this didn't come in a bag. It came loose like that, so uh but no, it's good. It's good. And this is cool because this glass actually has the ridge, the frame with the rivets molded in, so you can actually paint that that uh, that molding in black instead of like you know trying to like stencil the shit yourself. It already has it in 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 gray. It's already uh, printed into the glass with the little rivets. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, I put that back in there. Okay. Now, I'm going to go for the, the good stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm cutting it open. And like you did to my kit yesterday. Okay. Now, here goes nothing. That's some good stuff, dude. Woohoo! That is some good stuff. So, smells like 1984. All I need is a mullet. And my achy breaky heart. So, enough of that bullshit. Uh, 
here is the body, and this is nice and clean, bro. Very nice and clean. There is no flash on this. <laughs> um, look at the body, bro. Look at that body. That bitch is fucking straight as an arrow. Look at that. No warpage or anything. Look at that body. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and then, oh, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. You don't have to. You don't have to. May you don't have to put the frame. Come on, you son of a fucker. You don't have to do the frame. You don't have to put this frame together. It already comes together. Look how, man, look how straight that is, bro. Wow. Look how straight that is. Look at that. No warpage whatsoever. That is nice. Because usually the, the funny cars that I get, I have to put these fuckers together, bro. And they always come out all cockeyed and shit. And it's just like, mm, you know. And I just don't like it. So, but this is nice. This is, this is good. This is, this is real nice. Uh, and then here goes your headers. Uh, your... Roll bars for the cage and everything. That's that. And then here are your engine. Here's your engine block. Uh, your fuel cell. Your parachute. Uh, your heads. Uh, your everything, bro. Even the. It's got everything. That's that. And then here is the rust. I can get this shit out. And here goes. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Hold on. I thought I saw headers. Or am I seeing things? Am I seeing things? No, I didn't. Oh, wait a minute. You got two. You got two sets of headers in here. No shit. Hold on. You got one set there. And then you got another set there. No, there's no chrome set of headers in there. No. No, there's not a chrome set, but you do have two sets. I, I already did. There's nothing in there. Son of a bitch. This kid's been sitting there for so long that... Things are coming off the trees. This is this just fell on the floor. That belongs to the car. Uh, but yeah, you got two sets, two different set. They're two different style headers. And then this is the back end. This is the back end. This is the front. Uh, the inside. The uh, the you know the the heat shield and everything. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool, bro. This is pretty cool. I like this. Well, like I said, man, this is one, two, uh, three. So I'm putting this back in the bag. As you can see, I'm putting this piece back in the bag. And then here's your, your frame. And then, yeah, that's going to be nice. That's going to be real nice. Hell yeah. I know you're going to do a nice job to this. Have a nice paint job. And everything is back in the bag. So, I hope you, you, you like the kit. And here are your, your figures. What does the actual model look like put together? 
Let me see if I can actually. That's what it looks like when it's all put together. And then there's. That's what it looks like. So yeah, there's uh there's everything. Put everything back in the box, and I'm gonna close it up. Oh, and while I'm at it, let me see. I'm at it here. Let me see if I can find them. Shit. Hold on, give me a second, bro. Give me a second. Give me a second. Here, I can find them. I can find them. So, oh, here we go. There's that uh, the set of um, that decal sheet of the yellow Goodyear. Uh, decals that you that I told you I was gonna send you. I'm just gonna put this inside the box. Okay, what do you want? I'm gonna put that inside the box so I can send that with the kit. So I'm putting this inside the box. So, there's your kit, bro. So, I hope you like it. Now, on to the 39. Because I can. Well, I know you. some of you guys have been getting these little pointers and getting little things that you use instead of you pointing your fingers and shit. Uh, a couple of people have got, got little pointers and stuff. Cool, bro. Can't wait, man. Uh, as soon as I get some made for myself, I'm gonna be sending. A, I'm gonna be asking everybody for their for their addresses, uh, so I can send them out. But right now, I don't have any made up for myself. But I am going to make a shop card for myself and to pass out to everybody out there in YouTube land. Uh, but uh, I will let you guys know when I have them. Uh, so like I was saying, everybody's got these little pointers and stuff that they're getting and they're making and stuff. So I figured, you know, what the hell would I, I'm going to make me a pointer too, because I want a pointer. So I did this. This is for my Gundam. <laughs> I had a Gundam robot and I ganked his arm with the gun. So this is my pointer. So this is what I'm going to use to point at my shit. So I got my own pointer now. So, on to the car. So, I'm going to show you what I got going on here. So I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to take this down. What's up, John? And I'm gonna show you what I got going on with this car. So, here we go. But hey, so these are Zimmerman wheels. Uh, these are Z wheels. Uh, these wheels were given to me by uh, Styrene Junkie seventy three. These are in gold, chrome and gold. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in on this. Damn, I really zoomed in on that. So, there are the rims. This is gold with the chrome and then the chrome deep dish. 
and uh, and here's the front really nice wheels and tires bro very nice that's two like two ways of them now I was gonna use the red uh, wheels the red rims that I made for this car but then when he sent me this set in the mail because I did, I talked to him and he said that he was going to send me a set. Well, I, I got these like two weeks ago. And uh, I love these rims, man. They are nice. Very nice. Uh, actually sets the car off real nice. Uh, that is the stance. I, uh, that is the stance. On, on how this car is going to look. There's the back end. That's the side view. Now, on to the motor. Bam! That's the motor. She's uh, wired up, distributor, wires, uh, fuel lines, fuel rail, and that's the frontal view. I got to add, uh, that's the other side, some linkage, carburetor linkage. Uh, and then the cool thing about this is that these are removable those are removable I drilled the holes underneath so They go up just like that. Still got to hook up uh, a coil. There's the coil wire. I'm going to have uh, coolant lines and everything, braided coolant lines. I'm going to have uh, braided uh, uh, a radiator hose. Uh, there's still a couple more things I need to add to this and then I need to make myself a brake booster and then uh, that should be about it um, I still have a long way to go man with this car a long way to go but uh, that's more or less what it's gonna look like it's still in mock-up stage you know, it, it, you know, that's the things like this. You, you, uh, you're going to be putting together, taking apart, putting together, taking apart, putting together, you know, all kind of shit. Oh, really? Yeah, then I know that. Didn't I know that? But, um, who knows, man? I might just leave it like that and I leave it, you know, I wanted the clean look. So I had to make this firewall out of styrene. Uh, so I had to make that out of styrene. So I wanted that clean look. And, uh. So, yeah, that's the way it's going to look. And like I said, man, there's a long way to go with this car. Long way to go. Long way to go. But uh, she's looking pretty good, man. Little by little, she's coming together. 
Little by little she's coming together. Little door that opens up. Bam. Now it's gonna have the you know suicide doors and the it's gonna have the the back hatch that opens up and then the back window that goes up. Cool. So, yeah, that's what I got, man. This is the little update I got on the car. What's up, Swamp Donkey? So, yeah, that's uh, that's the update I have on this car. Uh, it's moving along slowly, but it's moving along. Um, I can't do a lot. I can't I can't do a lot with this car because you know I'm very limited on time so you know I can only do so much uh, where the hell did I do with the freaking thing hold on one second I'm very middle very limited on time so I can only work so much on this car and due to the fact that it's raining uh, and the weather sucks, I, I really can't do anything, so, I can only do so much with the car, so, yes, so, yes, my brothers, that is the 39, and, uh, so, yeah, Oh, excuse me. What? What did you say? Send me about payment. Send me it. I will paint it damn sp- <laughs> uh, hey, if you want to paint it, dude, but there's a lot of shit to paint. There's a lot of shit to paint. It's just not the body. It's everything. The doors, the, the, the doors, everything, everything, and all that shit in separate pieces. So it's just like, not just painting the body and that's it. This is... A bunch of other shit that needs to be painted. Like, uh, I have everything already. Sub oh, and then the seats. Uh, I can do it, baby. I know you can, bro. I know you can. Um, let me see something here. I'm going to show you. These are some butt ugly ass seats. They came with this car. These seats are ugly as hell. These are the seats that came for this model. And they're ugly as hell. Ugly, ugly as hell. So, what I did is that I didn't want these, these, uh, these seats for the car. So, what I did was that I chopped the bottom part of this uh this uh this chair and i glued it on to the bottom of this chair as you can see and now these are the seats i'm putting in because these seats sat real low so if i put these seats in the car you couldn't see so I had to cut the bottom off of this one and put it on here. And it actually raised it up and it's actually at a at a lane, which I like. Because that's how we do it here in Shot Town. We lean. Well you see just your knuckles on the steering wheel. So when motherfuckers driving next to you, all they see is your knuckles. <laughs> Because they don't see shit. They don't see your eyes. They see your forehead and your knuckles. 
Because we lean. <laughs> so that's what I did. I leaned them back. So yeah. Uh, big ball too. <laughs> so here is the bag hatch. Here is the door. Here is the other door. Here is the window that goes up and down. Uh, these other interior pieces. So there is there's quite a few pieces here that need to be painted. So um, if you're up for the tax, bro, and you want to paint it, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. And you paint it because, like I said, man, I'm not going to be able to paint this shit for I don't know how long. So that's why I am at a halt with this thing. Because I can't move on to doing anything else to this car until I get it in paint. Because that's when I can throw all my detail into it. Uh, the engine is about the farthest I can get with it. The wheels. Uh, the wheels and that's it. Uh, but as for chassis, body, the, everything else that, that needs to be painted, I can't do shit with it because the weather sucks. So, you send it to me. Hey, bro, you want to paint it? I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. Um, I would have to go get the paint um, and send you the paint. Or I can send you, you know, the cash or whatever and you go buy the paint. Because it's kind of hard to mail paint out. Uh, because they ask you all kind of shit when you're going to mail shit out. Uh, so I would probably just throw a couple of bucks in the box and then let you go buy the paint. So I don't have to, you know, go through any problems of sending it to you. Um, but I do want it painted in like a charcoal gray or like a light gray, charcoal gray. I don't know, like a, somewhere in the gray family. Uh, not a real light, light gray. Yeah, that's the I, I want I want to go gray because the theme of this car is gray and black uh, gray and red uh, the engine block and everything has been painted in 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 gray gray and black uh, and that's why I put the red spark plug cables uh, but the body it I want the whole body painted what you can do is that you can paint if you can paint the whole car There you go. Metallic gray. Something like that. Uh, gray like his beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny guy. Don't get crazy with me, man. Because I got a gun. Um... I got an idea. If you can paint this in gray, this interior in gray once I'm done with all this other shit here and stuff, and then you can paint, well, you know you can paint that in gray, that's the front end. But if you can paint the chassis We can paint the chassis in red. That would be nice. So like that, it kind of like breaks it up a little bit. So if you can do something like that, you can paint it gray, the body gray, everything else gray, and then this in red. 
and then the rest I can detail myself. Just you paint all the other stuff, and then when you send it back, I'll do all the detail painting and all the other stuff. And uh, that would be cool. That would be cool. I would like that. So, if you want to paint it, I'll send it to you. I'll send you. I'll send you all this and the kit all in one box. Satin, like a satin red, not a gloss red, like a satin red, because the metallic on the gray, and then the satin red that that'll look nice. That will look sharp. That too, you know. Cool, cool. So what I'll do is I'll 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 wrap all this stuff up. Let me clean it up real good and finish off what I need to do. And then I'll send it to you if you got to do any additional body work to it. I'm going to try to do as much body work to it as I can to get to have it, you know, where you don't have to do a lot. But if there's still a couple of little high spots here, a little, you know, whatever, you can, you know, monkey around with it, do what you got to do and... You know, I don't have to tell you what you need to do because you know what to do. Uh, but um, that's that's cool. And then uh, you let me know how much are you painting it. You let me know how much you're going to paint. You're going to charge me. Here's the motor. It's not quite done. Still got a long way to go. Still got a do a little bit more to the motor still got to do the fan and uh water well the water pump's already on there but i gotta put the fan with the fan clutch and all that shit you know these headers these headers these headers came off of a 69 nova because I tried finding, I, I tried looking for the, um, the soldering wire that some of you guys use for the headers. And I went to Lowe's, I went to Home Depot, I went to a bunch of places, Ace Hardware. And me and Fred were keeping in contact and he sent me some pictures and stuff and the spool that he has they don't sell anymore so it's made by a different company and I just I gave up because the soldering wire I was looking for is that real pliable bendable kind of shit you know that these guys use to put their you know to do their headers and stuff and uh So then, um, I just didn't, I didn't, I said the hell with it. So I started looking around and I found me these headers. And they actually looked pretty nice. They, 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 you know, for what it is, shit, for what it is, they look pretty good. You know, I'm not going to go crazy looking for, for, for headers and shit. So I just went and started looking for, and I found these headers from that 69 Nova, and and they worked out. So, and everything fits fine, and it, it sits nice and snug, and, and the chassis and everything, so I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it, so I'm not going to make a big fuss out of it. I am not going to make a big fuss out of it, so... Yeah, that's what I got going on with that. And, uh, Little Joe, I saw that kit you showed me yesterday. Whew, excuse me, of that 61 Impala. And, man, I want that kit. So, uh, you let me know what you want. Uh, call me. 
after this live stream is done uh, so we can conduct a little business off the air um, so yeah that's that's that and then I had to you know do a little styrene work here because when I cut this all up uh, I had to fill in those spots and I still have to do a little bit more work to it uh, and in order for these wheels to fit I had to cut this in order for them to like sit real nice in there but this is all going to get covered anyways so that's not going to stay like that so I had to do that and that's really about it that's really really about it so Lil Joe I hope that you like your jungle gym kit uh, it's very nice very very nice I like it I like it I like it I like it uh, and while I'm here like I said I talked to you the other day oh shit I talked to you the other day and I told you that I had opened up one of my Johan kits because I was bored and uh, I said you know what let me let me open this kit up because it's been sitting here for so long I actually have this one I actually have this one and I have a Rambler and the Rambler is still in plastic but I just said the hell with it I'm gonna open it because I want to see what's inside this kit and it's not a whole lot this is the Pro Street Cuda by Johan and uh, there's not a lot to this kit so here is the body and uh, it's pretty pretty square you know it's not a lot of sharp edges to it uh, it needs very little cleanup yeah it's a very simple but cool kit uh, it's got a little coat it's got some you know a little sh you know sharp edges here and there uh, like I said it just needs very little cleanup uh, this is what I don't dig is um, the suspension on this uses the the steel axles the metal axles but um what's up guy uh but that's something that can be worked out uh the two-piece slicks and um yeah, I know that. It's not tubbed. But it says Pro Street on the box. But it could get tubbed. Because that's no problem with me. Because uh, I'm a master at that shit. Uh, I can tub the shit out of anything. Uh, but, yeah, it doesn't come with a tub. But, yeah, you can tub it out. Uh, here are the two-piece junky slicks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate these kind of slicks. They're garbage. Uh, two piece. I don't like. <laughs> you can bathtub. So these are the tires. Uh, here is the headers, the leaf springs, the suspension, the gas tank. Um, the rear end, pretty cool, it's got uh, the header collectors here, that's pretty cool, then uh, it's got the racing seats, the engine, looks pretty decent, it's not a bad kit, 
Uh, here's some other parts. You know, if this is something that you want to do for a quick build, which is pretty cool. Uh, the, the chrome is pretty cool. It's nice. Very nice. Um, here's the glass. Very nice. Uh, and that's really about it. The, yeah, the, oof, the instructions are yellow. Because, uh, it's, I don't know how old this kid is, but, uh, it's very simple. It's very, very simple. Yeah, like you said, what was it that you said? Hold on. It was... So you try so what you're saying is is that this was the mold that they used for the socks and Martin Johan in 71 am I correct cool Wow, so this is an actual tooling from the Saxon Martin Cuda from the Johan kit. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mm. So I can actually get me some Saxon Martin decals for this car and I can make it look like the Saxon Martin Cuda from the Johan kit. If I were to find those decals for this car and paint it in that color. And this came out in 1980. Wow. Oh, for real. Oh, shit. Thank you. Awesome, because now I'm going to try to see if I can score me some Socks and Martin decals. That's if I can ever find something like that. Uh, I can turn this bitch into a Socks and Martin Cuda. That's very cool. I did not know that. Wow. I did not know that. That is pretty cool. I did not know that I actually have a tooling. From a Saxon Martin kit. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the kit right here. And uh, you said it was what from what from 1980. Box stock. So it says here 1992 Johan uh, models. I don't know. It says right there. 1992 right down the box so I guess that's when they re-released this car I don't know uh, you guys are probably a little bit more knowledgeable in the Johan department than I am because I've only had this is my third Johan kit that I got uh, because I have this one too I have this Johan kit. The Rambler. This is also a Johan kit. So maybe you guys can tell me uh, a little something about this one. If you know a little bit about this kit. Uh, because I've had both of these kits for a long time. I can't remember how long I've had these kits. I don't even know where the hell I got these kits in the first place. Pro Street. This is a Pro Street. 
Why do they keep putting Pro Street on these? <laughs> Why do they put Pro Street on these when this is not even a Pro Street? It's nowhere even close to being a Pro Street. This looks like a regular ass car with some rims and a funky ass hood scoop. <laughs> a hood scoop that's facing straight up in the air. That's a butt ugly ass hood scoop. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. Yeah, the trunk. The trunk does open on this. Yeah, the trunk does open on this. Oh. But I'm not going to open this one. Uh, I'm going to leave this one sealed. Because I already opened one. The morning wood. <laughs> Probably, man. I wouldn't doubt it. Because that fucking hood scoop is going like this. Up in the air. If you can, if you look at the hood scoop. Look at the hood scoop on that. It's going straight up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funky looking hood scoop. That is a funky ass looking hood scoop. So yes, my brothers. That's what I got. There's another old kit that I bought a long time ago. This uh, hot rod, uh, what is this one? The 56 Ford pick, Custom Ford Pickup. This is also brand new. Never been opened. The box is a little on the smushed side. But not much. But this is actually a really nice kit also. So, yeah. That's what I got. You built this kit, this pickup when you were a kid, huh? Cool. Yeah, I've had that kit for a long time. I don't know how long it's been since I've had that kit. Yeah, I got a few things down here. I got a few things down here. Oh, uh, I'll tell you about it. That's really about it. So, let me see what we got going on here. What do I think about the Cadillac build? Dude, uh... I love the Cadillac build. Uh, there's actually a guy on Facebook that acquired a humongous collection of model cars. And I saw this posting yesterday on Facebook after we had talked about what we talked about. And in those pictures that he was showing, he actually has... Three fucking Johan Cadillacs. Three. Three different years. I can't remember what years they were, but they were in the 30s. But there is this one Cadillac that caught my eye. It's the Cadillac. It's a 1933 Cadillac Town. Town something. Tell, tell everybody that. Tell everybody that. Tell everybody that I do that I do mean you came up. Cadillacs. 
Oh, little Joe, uh, little Joe wants to wants to get into this doing a Cadillac build. Uh, so he wants to have like a Cadillac, uh, any style Cadillac. It doesn't have to be a new Cadillac. It doesn't have to be an old Cadillac. It could be a Cadillac. Good luck on that. That's cute. Cool. Um, he wants to do a, a Cadillac build off uh, like a community build Cadillacs. And I think it's a pretty good idea. Uh, that's why I was looking at that posting yesterday on Facebook. Uh, because he has this, uh, this testers. It's not the Johan. I know that he's going to want a lot of money for the Johans. But he did have this 1933 uh, Cadillac Town something. Started with a B. It's badass because it's the Cadillac that's got the driver in the front and then it's enclosed. The the rest of the car is closed. So they got the driver with the with the window, but you can see them like a convertible and then it's oh it's open in the front with the glass with the with the glass and then it's closed in the back. That shit is badass and he has one. There you go. That's the one. And I asked him how much he was asking for that. And he said that he's not going to, he's going by, he's responding, he's responding to the, to the, the, the messages as they go along. So I guess my message will probably be responded tomorrow or something. I don't know. Uh, and he'll let me know what he wants for that kit. But it is a nice ass kit. And I love that Cadillac. That's a badass Cadillac. Uh, then they had a Cadillac that, um, something that, that probably came out in the Al Capone movie, uh, uh, The Untouchables is one of those older Cadillacs, uh, he had one as a Johan, and that is a badass kit too, but his is a Johan. I don't know if it was a 1930 or 1929 or 19, I don't know what, what year it was. But he had three Johan Cadillacs. Badass. Yeah, your your Cadillac is something like that. Yeah, that it's like closed in the back and then open in the front for the driver where you see the driver. Well, that's what that kit looks like. So, yeah, he had that Cadillac. I would love to get my hands on a Cadillac like that. I have a Cadillac. I have a promo Cadillac. Um... It was sent to me by little by uh, Mini Dreams. He sent me this Cadillac a long time ago because uh, he dabbles a lot with a lot of promo Cadillacs, and uh, he sent me he sent me a Cadillac. Oh, before I get into that, let me pull out the Cadillac here. So, Mini Dreams sent me a 1979 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. This is a bro. This is a 1979 Cadillac Coupe de Ville promo.
He sent me this Cadillac, and the 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 emblem is under this tape. He put the emblem under. He put the emblem, and then he put a piece of tape so it wouldn't so it wouldn't lose it. But uh, yeah, this is a 1979 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. <laughs> you want me to flip nose and turn this into a pro street, dude? You are crazy, man. I don't I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I would have to seriously sit there and think about that one. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I have to think about that one. But yes, I do have a Cadillac. But this is a promo Cadillac. He sent me that Cadillac a long time ago. Love that Cadillac. The reason why I love that Cadillac is because I used to own a 1979 Cadillac Coupe de Ville when I got married. Uh, it was given to me by my mother as a wedding gift. Uh, mine's was white with the white half vinyl top and baby blue interior with the wood grain. And uh, two inch white wall tires with uh with the chrome uh the chrome wire hubcaps beautiful ass car man i love that car and that's the reason why i got this cadillac is because i would love to recreate that car in this scale here but little joe is trying to pull me away from that and turn this into a pro street with a flip nose front I don't know if I want to do that. So that's why I have to think about it. Uh, but you never know. You never know. Things can happen. Uh, then, this was given to me many, many, many years ago by somebody. And uh, this is beautiful. This paint job is gorgeous. Uh, this paint job is gorgeous. Look at the paint job on this monster. Look at that. I've had this for years. This certain somebody gave me this body long time ago. Look at that. This is all airbrushed. This is all airbrushed. It just needs to be polished out. And yes, I am going to build this car. The only thing is that I still have to find me the right style wheels. And um, I have everything else for this car. I just need to find the, 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 the perfect set of wheels and tires for this car. That's the reason why I haven't built this. It's because I am looking for the perfect set. Uh, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. It just needs to be polished out. And because when I first got this car, this car was like glass. I mean like glass. And, you know, it's got a little... It, it's actually lost it, a little bit of its shine due to the fact that it's been with me for a long time. It's been with me for over... Wow, I've been on YouTube for going on nine years. I've had this for about... Eight, about seven and a half years. No, this is not going to be a low rider. Sorry. This is not going to be a low rider. This is going to have some nice meat on it. Yeah, very light wet sanding and a polish. But this is a beautiful, beautiful paint job. This is not going to be a low rider because no. Uh, certain cars look good as low riders, some don't, and this 
I, you can't consider this to turn. You can't consider turning this into a lowrider. No. Um, like I said, I just have to find the perfect set of tires and rims for this, because I have everything else. So, uh, and the person that gave this to me, I'm not going to reveal his name because he told me never to reveal his name. So I am going to leave it that way. Yeah, a nice fat slat, set of fat ass tires in the back with a badass. So, um, I do have a set of tires though. I don't know if I want to use these. I could have used these, but I don't know. I got these. I got these rims and tires um, that I can probably use for that car. They're all blacked out with the wheels. So, who knows? But I'm just still looking for the right set, right set of tires and rims for that kit to build that car. So, what you were telling me here that the hold on one second. I'm sorry I haven't responded to that that text real fast. Okay, try the email. It failed. I don't know what I did wrong. Thanks. Um, it's got to be fast, Jimmy, seventy one, at gmail dot com. You got to put the fast Jimmy seventy one all together. You can't space it out. So you got to put fast Jimmy seventy one at gmail dot com. That's 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 how it is. So uh, maybe you punched in something wrong, or maybe you you didn't put the fast shimmy seventy one together. Everything has to be all together. You can't space it. Uh, so yeah. So I'm just going to sit here and watch these guys conversate amongst yourselves. What the? What was that? Okay, cool, but I'm asking about real cars, not toys. Oh, so you think these are toys, bro? These ain't toys. These ain't something that you go on you. I know that you're responding to little Joe in the comment, but let me turn you back and tell you that these are not toys because I'm not a child. I'm not playing with toys. We don't play with toys. Uh, we build models. And we display them or we take them to shows and we show people what we can do. So I don't consider this as a toy because we don't give these to little kids to play with. So uh, when you said that I'm not talking about toys, that kind of like, you know, twisting my chain a little bit because uh, I don't play with toys. I build models. We all build models here. We don't play with toys. And I know that that comment was referred to Joe, but the way you said it didn't sound right.
Because toys are for little kids that you give them and they play with. But these ain't toys because I spend money on things like this. You know? You spend a lot of money. This is a very expensive hobby. Oh, trust me, he's got real cars, bro. He's got real cars. He, what he said in his list, he's got for real. He's got an IROC. He's got a blue IROC with T-tops. He's got a white hearse. He's got a Galaxy. He's got these other cars. So trust me, he's got the real deal. He's not only with model cars, but he has the one-to-one -one scale. He's got the real shit. Go check out his channel and he'll, you'll see his videos. He's got the real deal. He's got the real deal. Me, I would love to have an old car, but unfortunately, um, Exactly. I don't consider this to be just a model car. I consider this as a as a form of expression and a form of art that we create. Because what anybody can do is open up a box. Uh, you know, anybody can build, can open up a box... And just give get the glue and put it together and there you go. There's I put I made it. But when you get into doing the shit that I do and the stuff that everybody else on YouTube does, that that that's that's an artistic mind that comes from up here, and what you have up here. You transform it into here. So everybody has their own way of doing things. So what we're doing is we're expressing our art in plastic. You know? Because in reality, if you want to go, there is a place in La in Los Angeles that they have. It's like a museum or some shit. Where they actually have model cars. Uh, because it's an art form. No, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not taking that as, you know. But I'm just saying, you know, that a lot of people that, that because I've actually had comments sent to me. And tell me, hey man, you know, you're a grown ass man. Why are you playing with toys? You know? Uh, trust me, this grown ass man can cave your face in with one hit. But, you know, I I just, I just, you know, it, it's, it's a form of art. And, you know, that's the way I see it. So, how long have I been in here? I've been in here for an hour and 25 minutes, so I'm kind of tired already. I want to sit down and relax and watch some TV, and uh, I'm going to chill. So, uh, little Joe, give me a call whenever you get a chance so we can talk about uh, this thing. And, uh, 
the other stuff. So, so if you guys, um, I don't know, if little Joe is, little Joe's gonna do the the Cadillac thing. Uh, I'm all for it. You know, I can probably find myself a Cadillac. I don't know if I'm gonna do that one. No, I don't want to talk about bull peanuts. Uh, no, not today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to find a Cadillac. I probably could find a Cadillac, uh, another Cadillac. I'm still waiting to see if dude is going to, if dude is going to try to see if, uh, he's going to throw a price at me for that Cadillac, that 33 Cadillac. Uh, that would be something cool to build. Why do you say that? But I'm gonna hate you soon. Why, what you do? I posted a video. I posted a video and let you know. Posted a video of what? <laughs> what did you post a video about? You're going to post a video after this, tonight. Okay. What's up, bro? Alright. Well, like I said, man, I'm going to call it a quits. Uh, been on here for a while. It's been on here long enough. Uh, that's what I got going on with the 39. Uh, I did the little unboxing. Uh, I did a little unboxing for Little Joe's uh, Jungle Gym. Uh, Alright, dude, I'll give you a call when I'm done. Uh, and I did an unboxing for Little Joe and his kit that I'm going to be trading, uh, trading him. Yeah, I wish I can have a beer. I thought I had beer in the refrigerator and I don't. <laughs> so I'm um, drinking water. Yummy. Uh, so that's about it. I shoot the ship with these guys for a while. Uh, so, time to let you guys go. Till next time, my brothers. This is Fast Jimmy 71 saying peace. And you know it. Chicken grease. Laters.